Well, I think, I think the most important thing as you review the literature about TAVR and valves is that what we have found is that many, many patients who would be operative candidates never get to see a surgeon and never have, are considered for an operation. So TAVR has sprung a, a new interest. Yes, we can fix you and maybe you won't have to have an operation. The overall risk of death from a aortic valve operation in this country is around 2%, a little over 2%. A very low risk procedure compared to many other complicated procedures. And what happens is hospitals look at their patients, including superb universities, they found out that many of their patients were watched for years and years as they gradually deteriorated. And then all of a sudden, they may get to what we call, what I call the watershed years. As patients approach 75, between 75 and 85, everybody says, oh, you're just too old to have the procedure. However, when they become desperate, they face a choice. Either you have the procedure or it goes on to progress. So this is a progressive disease. Every year, it gets worse by five or 10%. And once a patient has symptoms, the risk is very, very high. But often the elderly don't stress themselves enough. If you're 45 or 50 years old and you have aortic valve disease and you're you know, playing tennis and chasing your kids around and so forth and so on, you're gonna know that you have bad valve disease. But if your activities become limited to just walk into the car and going shopping and sitting with friends, you're not gonna know you have aortic valve disease or it's not gonna bother you until you're just at the very edge of survival. So probably the single most important message is not just that TAVR exists, but that patients, that aortic valve disease is progressive. The fact that you may not be symptomatic today means you may not be doing enough. So in Europe, for instance, it's very common to put a patient on a treadmill and let them be active and see how they do because their normal lifestyle does not test their heart. So by the time they really have trouble, they have no reserve at all. And that even happens with young patients. I mean, I've had patients who are in their 50s, athletic, and they're having a little more trouble, a little more trouble, a little more trouble, and years go by. And finally, when they're in deep trouble, they say, you know what, I think we ought to refer this patient, or I ought to have the valve. Between 75 and 85 is when they literally begin to consider let's wait till next year and next year. And the problem is the watershed is as you get older, somewhere between 75 and 82 or so, your risk becomes much more elevated. So I think that's the most important issue really. Tavern's available, but don't wait until you absolutely have to have a procedure.